Hey guys, are you ready to make some chickpea pasta? Let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm getting ready to make some chickpea pasta. Um, according to the label, it's gluten-free and all of that good stuff. But vegan, 100% vegan, so they say. But it has some a little bit of tapioca flour in it. Um, I'm going to use it because it's what I have. But um, these are the um, mushrooms that I canned yesterday. And this one didn't can, even though I put it twice. So I'm going to use it today. These are some uh, Brussels sprouts that I fermented in the fridge. And they are out of this world. So delicious. I can't even tell you. And I have here, what it has is uh, sweet pepper uh, corn, I guess is what you call that. Bay leaf some oregano, fresh oregano, um, some salt. What else did I put in there? I hate that I didn't make the video for it, but it is, in some, like I said, some salt, but it is amazing. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, and an anise star. See it right there? The flavor is out of this world. I'm gonna be making the pasta with some shrimp. Okay, what I used to season my shrimp was a little bit of the uh, Mushroom and Company uh, multi-purpose seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I added a little bit of this olive oil and I added some fresh garlic and what else? Um, and that's it, and a little bit of salt. That's about it. And I'm going to be uh, making my shrimp because everything else is already kind of pre-done. So I don't need to cook it a lot. I just have the, like I said, the pasta going. I'll bring you back when I get ready to put it together. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to put everything together. I'm heating up my pan. My pasta is done. I'm going to add some um, grapeseed oil because it has a high heat contents so, so I can get my shrimp going. Um, if this thing would just open up a little bit, that would help. Okay, here we go. And let's see what happens, guys. Let me see, is it hot enough? No, it's not hot enough. I want it to be really, really hot, so I'm gonna wait a little bit more. This is done, so I'm gonna strain it. I think it's safe, I can add the rest of my shrimp while I do this, hold on. And just leave it alone, don't do anything. Oh, it smells amazing over here, guys. Okay. Um, I'm sorry guys. Okay, let's see. Hi. Okay, so while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in half so I'll have them ready. And I'll bring you back in a minute. All right guys, I'm gonna turn you around so you can see what the shrimp is looking like. Hold on. See that? See that nice little glaze color? That's what you're looking for, like so. I'm gonna add my pasta at this point. Actually, I'm gonna add these guys. My mushrooms. And they're full of flavor. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am gonna add a little bit of um, butter to it. And my pasta. That's all that I'm doing. And Oh my gosh, this looks amazing, guys. Amazing, amazing. Let me add my butter to it. Okay, so here's my butter. A little bit more. This is Irish butter. So this butter doesn't have anything, any preservatives or anything like that. It's like the real deal. Okay. Now, at the very end, because I don't want to cook my, um, I'm not attempting to cook the Brussels sprouts. So all I have done is cut them in half, as you see here, and I'm gonna drop them. I have a couple of more to cut, but you get the picture. This is all that I'm doing, and it's done, guys. If you feel when you're eating that it needs salt and pepper, then you can do that. You can drizzle um, some Parmesan cheese if you have. 
make sure it's real Parmesan cheese and not that stuff that comes in a, uh, that's in the aisles, that's dry, that's not real. So don't, don't go there. But this is it. It is done. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.